everyone, my name is Lizzie, this is my horse Mira, and welcome back to another Farmhouse Tack Barn Vlog. Today we're going to be talking all about tacking up your horse. So the first step to tacking up your horse is you want to make sure they're comfy in the cross ties or however you want to tie them. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure your horse is nice and clean. You want to give them a good groom. We actually made a whole other video on it, so I'm going to link that in the description below. Um, but the important part of grooming before you tack up is that it <clears throat> is that it makes sure your horse is nice and clean underneath where your tack is going to go, so there will cause no irritation, as well as you can check for any cuts or injuries on your horse and make sure that their shoes, if they wear shoes, are nice and tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and groom your right now. All right guys, after your horse is nice and clean, you've made sure their shoes are on tight, it's gonna be, all the dirt's gone from underneath the saddle. Then you wanna grab your tack and make sure everything's accounted for so you can stay nice and organized. And then we're gonna to get to saddling our horse. We also have a whole nother video that you can watch on specifically the steps on saddling your horse. So go check that out. Link will also be in the description below. All right guys, so first step with saddling your horse, you wanna grab a nice clean saddle pad and you're gonna come over to your horse's side. You're going to lay it over atop their back, a little bit ahead of their withers, and then slide it back where you'd like it to go. This is going to ensure that the hair stays nice and flat underneath the saddle pad so there's no irritation. Then if you use a half pad on your horse, that's going to go next. You're going to lay it right down atop the saddle pad again, just like that. Next, you'll get your saddle. Make sure your stirrups are run up on both sides. This is for safety reasons, so your horse doesn't get stuck on anything. Also, so you don't um, hit your horse with your stirrups. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your saddle, or lift it up over the horse's back, set it down a little bit ahead of the withers, and then you're gonna slide it back while also pulling up the saddle pads in the front like this, making a tent. That's gonna ensure that there's no excess pressure put down on the withers. Then it's time for the girth. So to start with the girth, you're wanna gonna go over to the right side of your horse. Unfold your girth. If your girth is a fuzzy girth with a tab in the middle, a little ring, you're gonna make sure that that ring is facing towards the horse's head when you put it on. And you're going to buckle it on this side of the billet. So it doesn't have to be tight to start, so I normally put it on one with this girth. And you're gonna reach down underneath, pull it up. And then these are the billets. Again, it doesn't have to be tight, so I'm just going to start it out on one. If your horse, if your saddle pad has girth straps, you can slide your girth underneath the girth straps. This is just a baby pad, so there aren't any. And just like that, make sure your pads are laying nice and flat, and then the saddling process of your horse is done. Then one of the last steps is bridling your horse. So the first step for bridling your horse is you want to unhook them from the cross ties. Before you take off their halter, it's a good idea to flip your reins over their neck. That way, if they were to walk off, once you take off their halter, you have something to hold on to them so they can't run away if they spook or something. So I'm gonna undo our halter, hang it up, and now I'm ready to bridle her. So to bridle her, I'm gonna grab a hold of the crown piece, that's the top of the bridle here. I find it easiest to pull the nose band up out of the way like this. Some people have no problem putting the bridle on with leaving the nose band hanging. That's totally personal preference, but I like to hold it up like this. Then I'm gonna cut the bit with my left hand like this. So I kind of hold it and I'm gonna go around for her head. I'm gonna place the bit by her mouth. I'm gonna insert my thumb so she opens her mouth. I'm gonna slide the bit in and then you're gonna, you can drop the nose band and you're gonna slide one side of the um, crown piece over the ear and then the other ear through the crown piece. And then it's on her face. And then you're going to slide both sides of the nose band underneath the cheek pieces like this. Come here. And then you're going to buckle the nose band. So the nose band you want it to be snug but not too tight. So here I can fit about one finger and that way it's going to stay secure but it's not going to impede her anything. It's not going to be uncomfortable. And then you're going to take the second strap which is the throat latch and again you're going to buckle it here and you want to 
Normally, you want to be able to fit a fist underneath or in between their jaw and everything. That way, if they put their head down or do something, they're not going to cut off their breathing. And you're going to strap the sides into the keepers. And then we're bridled and all ready to go. All right, the last step to do before you're ready to get on your horse and ride is you want to bring them out to where you're going to ride. I'm in our riding arena today, and this is when you're going to want to check your girth and make sure your girth is tight. And you can uh, run down your stirrups and check the length on your stirrup. These are mine. I ride them every day, so they're all good. Hi, Mira. So then once you're happy with how tight your girth is, remember you can tighten it more once you get on your horse and your stirrups seem like a good length, you're ready to mount up and have a great ride. All right, guys, that's it for me today. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. If you have a suggestion for what you'd like to see next, also leave me a comment. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye now.